everyone, it's Fairy Witch One here and I'm going to talk to you today about the tale of Trimor. Now the tale of Trimor is a little known corner of Arthurian legend. Trimor was a beautiful fairy maid who met and fell in love with Luna Fall, a knight of King Arthur's round table. Her name means test of love. Trimor and Luna Fell made an agreement that she would appear to his request on the condition that he would summon her only when he was entirely alone and would never speak of her and their great love for one another to anyone else. They went on in this way for quite a while happily until the handsome Lunafell caught the Queen's eye. Lunafell rejected the Queen, who is Guinevere obviously, and um, she got pretty angry with this um, and in this anger it made him angry which made Lunafell angry and he replied that he was deeply in love with one fair, far more beautiful than the Queen, who is obviously one of him. In this brief loss of temper, Lunafell had not only caused deep offence to his Queen, but broken his promise to his true love, Trimor. In revenge for his for this insult, Guinevere arranged to have Lunafell put on trial, and when he told his tale, he was condemned to pre produce his fairy lover within one year or be put to death. However, Trimor would no longer appear at Lunafell's summon, for he had broken his promise. When the year was up, Lunafell stood in the courtyard of Camelot, bravely awaiting his fate. Just then a strange mist descended through this a strange mist descended. Now through the mist came Trimor, her long hair flying out behind her as she galloped up on an exquisite white unicorn. His horn restored. His, well, sorry. His honour was then restored and Lunafell mounted up behind Trimor and the two lovers rode off to the other world of Avalon where they lived happily ever after. Now, to go along with this little tale which I was reading pretty badly, I have um, the test of love spell. Now just as Lunafell and Trimor's love was tested by outside influences, Guinevere being one of the main ones, so most couples eventually have to endure some form of test. Now this is true, most couples do go through that period where they, their love is tested. In which the strength of their love is put on trial. So basically, I think any of you out there that have been in a relationship or are in a relationship will know what I'm talking about when I say you've got you've had, you've been tested, your love's been tested. This test could take the form of financial pressures, work commitments, interfering family members, or any one of a number of other things. If you find yourself in this situation, try working this little spell to help you and your partner over the bumps in the road. And what you'll need is a silver candle and a holder photo of you and your partner and a few rose petals. The moon phase is any, this is uh, an uh, emergency spell so perform it whenever you need to. Now this is what you're going to have to do for the spell. Now take all that you need to a quiet corner of your bedroom. Place a photo on a sturdy surface in front of you. A bedroom altar is ideal and the silver candle in the holder in front of the photo. Scatter the rose petals around both the candle and the photo. Take a few deep breaths to centre yourself and gaze into the candle. Well, you know what I mean, gaze into the flame of the candle. And then you say these words. I call on the strength and magic of the fairy maid, Trimor. My lover and I face a test of love. Please guide and support me through this difficult time and help me to remember that true love can conquer all. I give thanks for your aid and support. Try more, bless me. Now remain at your altar for a while, longer. Then when you feel ready, blow out the candle and go about your day. Light the candle again for a few minutes whenever you feel the need to for extra strength and support for your relationship. Now that's basically all I'm going to talk about so far. My next video will be on the Lady of the Lake. So I will do that soon. Um, hope you've enjoyed this video and leave any comments you want to and blessed be everybody.